Good mid-afternoon, YouTube. Early evening. How are you all? This is Shelton Ponder the second coming in to you from Kansas on my way home. Welcome to another video of Work to Home Vibes. As always, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at TonyGumbel21. Also, like, share, subscribe, and comment to this video, Shelton Ponder. Hopefully everybody had a good day. Hopefully everybody's day was very productive. Mine was, as always. Got a lot of productive things done today, which I extremely love. Hopefully everybody was able to get in some sun. It's been raining here for the past couple of hours and I don't think it's gonna stop anytime soon. All right, well, there are a lot of things going on in the sports world today. Uh, I wanna talk about something that happened over the weekend. Well, actually, two stories that happened over the weekend is the the quarterback situation. Now, this video is going to be titled Nick Saban and Doug Peterson. I'm calling you all out. Now, the reason why I'm calling these two individuals out per se is because the media just wants the media is just trying to do their job that's all they're trying to do they, they want to answer because they want to report what's going to happen now as a sports fanatic the way Nick Saban and Doug Peterson took it was totally wrong. Hmm, how do you say that, Sheldon? The reason why I say that is because, first of all, the sports media just want a just just want an answer. That's all they want. There was a young lady on uh, on ESPN after the Auburn game after the Auburn-Washington State game that asked Nick Saban, I think her name was Maria, I'm not sure what her last name was. Anyway, that's not important. Anyway, uh, Maria, I forgot her last name. She asked Nick Saban a question like, why did he bench so his quarterback? Because it, both quarterbacks were really, really good. Both quarterbacks are really, really good. And he said, well, he did it because so and so and so and so. Why is she asking that ridiculous question? All right, let, let's examine this. Let's examine this. She wanted to know, as well as everybody else, why did he bench his quarterback? If I were Nick Saban, I would have said exactly why I benched him. And then I would have not asked, not, you know, not threatened her with a question like that. She was just doing her job. And that's what coaches and players don't get, is that the media members are just doing their job. It's unfair to them how the coaches and players want to come after them for asking them a simple question. I'll take it back to 2006 when the Bears played the Arizona Cardinals. Dennis Green, the coach at the time of the 
the coach at the time of the Arizona Cardinals, they lost the lead to the Bears in the fourth quarter. Now, what he said was really awkward because he said that's who they, we thought they were. They're who we thought they were. And that's why they took the field. If you want to crown them, then crown them. But they are who we thought they were, and we let them off the hook. Was that really necessary? <coughs> no, it wasn't. The media members just want a solid answer. That's all they want. If I were a coach, if I were in Nick Saban's shoes or I was in Doug Peterson's shoes, I would have said, yes, the starting quarterback is going to be this. Well, why is that? Because I feel that this guy is ready for week one. That's all they have to say. That is all that they have to say. But instead... The media member asked a, a question that you know their people want want answered, and 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 coaches and players go berserk. Nick Saban and Doug Peterson, I'm calling you guys out. You should know that people want a story. Why not play along and give them a story? But instead, you all are, are so guarded within your team that you won't give a, a, a genuine answer. You don't want to give a genuine answer. Why? Why? And I listen to sports radio every now and then to know that you don't need to tell everybody your business. And I get that. I really, really get that. But at the end of the day, though, you got to give people something. Because if not, they're just going to keep pushing you and pushing you and pushing you to give them an answer. And he's going to sit there stuck like, I don't know. Now, Nick Saban was wrong for doing that. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, you know, he wasn't wrong. He was just giving, listen, I don't care. He couldn't do that with me because I, I, I would I would put a fire under his behind. If I were her, I would say, well, why, why, are, you, why are you acting like this? I just want a serious answer. That's what I would have told him. Like, look, if you're going to act this way towards me, then why did I, you know... But for him to get mad at someone for asking him a genuine question is asinine. It is truly asinine. Did she deserve it? No. And then he comes and apologizes. Look, there will be no hard feelings between me and him. I just want to interview him ever again. I know that sounds kind of petty, but hey, you know what? You act that way towards me, I don't want to interview you. See how it really feels. But if I were in the, in the um, reporter's shoes... I wouldn't have interviewed him anyway. 
If he had said that to me, I would have said, you know what, all right, let's cut it. Let's cut it. I'm done. Or I would have talked to someone else. But reporters are people too. Reporters are people too. And how dare a a well-known coach, a well-known coach, like Nick Saban come after uh, a reporter like that. She didn't do anything to him. She just, like I said, she just asked him a question about a, a question about his quarterback situation. That's it. That's all. He goes off the deep end and says, "Well, why would you ask me a question like that? I just wanted to know, you idiot." That's it. That's it. I just wanted to know. That's it. Answer the question. Boom. Move forward with the question. Doesn't make any sense. And with the Doug Peterson situation. The reason why I'm calling him out is because he didn't he wasn't he wasn't truthful. He wasn't honest. He's like, well. Why, why do you want me to tell you? You're, you're just putting words in my mouth. They want to know. How hard is it? They want to know who's going to be the starting quarterback. All the other teams have announced who their starting quarterbacks are going to be. Why can't you? And it was obvious who it was going to be. It was going to be uh, Nick Foles. But he couldn't have just come out and said that. He could have said, well, you know, Carson Wentz is not 100% just yet. We're going to take it easy on him. And we're going to put Nick Foles in and see how he does. And See, let me explain something to you all. YouTube family. I think rationally. I think strategically. Which means that I think on the basis of, okay, I wouldn't give away as much and I wouldn't give away I wouldn't give away the information that they give away. Okay? And I know that doesn't I know that doesn't I know that doesn't sound right, but let me, let me let me rephrase this. If a person were to ask me a question about a certain player or who was going to start week one, I would have said Nick Foles is our starting quarterback. Carson Wentz is still has still not been cleared. Any updates? We will notify you. That's all he had to say. But instead, he wanted to jump down the the reporter's throats like like Nick Saban did. Say all this mess about, oh, well, why why are you putting words in my mouth? Nobody's putting words in your mouth. They just wanna they just want a serious answer. Give them a serious answer. Give them a serious, honest answer. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. Give a serious answer. Guess what? Boom. You give a serious answer. There you have it. Stupid the fact that these that these Head coaches want to want to bounce all around the world, saying, "Oh, well, you know, we will we'll, look." I would be the on, I would be the most honest coach on the face of this planet. I would say, "Listen, 
so-and-so is going to start week one. We'll see how he does. If he does a good job, we'll consider him in week two, and we'll go from there. If not, we'll, we'll think we'll, we will come back to you all, and we will update you all on what's going to happen. Period, point blank. Period, point blank. Now, if that isn't an honest answer, I don't know what is. But that is the most honest answer that I would have given. See, unlike all the other all the other head coaches in the league, me as a head coach, I would not jump around the answers. I would be very, very, I would answer every single question honestly. I would answer every single question honestly. That's what I would do. Anybody doesn't like it, hey, there's the door. There is the door. But like I said, I called the two coaches out because they shouldn't have talked. They should not talk to the media like they're their children. Talk to them in a professional manner. <sighs> talk to the media like they are professionals. Don't, don't talk to them like the kids. And just remember, you are going to get asked this question until you answer the question. Once you answer the question, they'll probably leave you alone. But if you don't ask the question, if you don't answer the question, then they are going to keep asking it until you break down and say, you know what? This is who we're going to start. Don't be that guy. Be the guy that's actually honest that says, okay, this is this is who we're going to choose. We're choosing this guy over this guy. We'll see how he does. We'll do it bi-weekly. If he does good in, if he does good on, uh, if he does good week one, we'll see how he does week two. So on and so forth. Once again, Nick Saban and, and and Doug Peterson, I caught you all out. Anybody that that anybody that likes this video, hit it with a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, hit it with a thumbs down. If you have comments, go ahead and comment. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at TonyGumbo21. Follow me here on like, share, subscribe, and comment to me here on YouTube, Sheldon Palmer. I'm gonna end the, as always, live your life the way you want to live it, not the way someone else wants you to live it. Doug Peterson, Nick Saban, I just, I just called you out. The question is, what are you gonna do about it? I'm Sheldon Ponder, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.